Uh, hello, Henrik. Hello, Michael. Nice to be here at, at your place. Uh, and uh, well, thank you for inviting me into and your friend. Show, to show <laughs> my, my invention, or my small invention here. And uh, Henrik, you're a uh, wildlife photographer. Yep, I guess I can call myself that, yeah. Yeah, and you're also an underwater photographer. Mm -hmm. Like you. Yeah, <laughs> and Henrik is the one who introduced me into underwater photography. Yeah, addiction. Yeah, that's a addiction, definitely. And uh, that's uh, quite a story, and I will tell you some, uh, maybe next time, <laughs> when we talk about underwater photography. Yep. Uh, but uh, otherwise it will be, we'll uh, lose our focus to today. Focus is important. Yeah, so the focus today is uh, this uh, piece of gear, and it uh, looks kind of uh, aggressive and dangerous maybe, but it's not that dangerous as it uh, looks like. Uh, you know what it is? Uh, to be honest, I, I really don't. I've seen you. <laughs> I've seen you use it, and uh, I actually used it once also. Yeah. Uh, when I borrowed your underwater camera, and I must say, I didn't know exactly how to use it, why it was good, and the benefits. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. What is uh, it, in a sentence? Uh, yeah. And uh, basically, it's the the essential parts of this uh, equipment is the camera. It's a normal camera. It's a Nikon uh, Z6, uh, but it could be any other camera. Uh, and uh, the lens is uh, uh, it's a, a macro lens, wide angle uh, macro lens. It's called uh, comes from Laowa, uh, 24 millimeters. A focal length uh, and uh, so it's wide angle but it's also macro you can film uh, about one centimeter in front of the lens in water it's uh, directly in front of the lens so it's extremely wide angle and uh, uh, extremely macro lens it's very long and like a pipe so it looks like endoscope medical equipment or something like this you can put inside of this any any opening and hole and something, cave or whatever. And it's got LEDs in the front? Yeah, it's a LED light, so you can, uh, you can uh, put it on. Yeah, now it was. And, uh, uh, so it's a li little bit yellowish, and I wish Lavola had the possibility to change color temperature. Yeah? Well, you can do that with the white balance. Uh, yeah, and, uh, well, it's better to, to balance your lights, actually. and. Uh, and there is also uh, like a parameter called CRI, Color Reproductivity Index. And then if you use a quality video light, uh, there's a CRI, it's about maybe 97%. So 97% of all colors that is existing mm -hmm. colors, yeah. they will be reproduced by this light. Mm -hmm. And this, I, I'm not sure how what they say right in this light, so it's uh, pro probably not that much. But it's, uh, it's uh, reasonably okay light, uh, so uh, it works and it's very practical since uh, it's uh, narrow caves and something like that, so you can use it. And uh, I guess uh, waterproofing, uh, is this part? Yeah, this part, uh, yeah. waterproof uh, until maybe 50 meters or something. So it's uh, well, no, no limits in the normal diving, uh, and uh, otherwise you should put it inside a uh, uh, housing. Yes. Yeah, I see you have a note again. Yeah, that's it. And uh, well, talking about that, uh, so this this design is uh, in order to to film inside a birdhouse. Okay. <laughs> so uh, when the and this when, is the focus, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a focuser. Since the, this lens is a manual focusing. And uh, it's no auto focus. Uh, no auto focus. No. Uh, so you need to focus it manually, and uh, to do so, uh, I put a, a piece of equipment. There. It's a focuser from astronomy. It's used normally in astronomy, mm -hmm. and it, this is my other hobby. And uh, I use uh, addiction. Addiction, yeah, that's uh, wintertime addiction is uh, astronomy, and summertime it's uh, wildlife. <laughs> So this is a focuser, and you can control it by by this uh, from a distance. Uh, and uh, if you and then you need a, push a button. It, it starts moving. This gear starts moving. That's not fast. Uh, not fast, but it's uh, and, very precise. And then you need a remote uh, viewfinder, also, I guess. Uh, yeah, as for monitoring, there is a the HDMI cable, and uh, it can be. Uh, it's quite long, but I have. Uh, I also have a longer cable like this, maybe 10 meters, mm -hmm. 
Uh, so, uh, and it's an uh, interesting thing about the birds, like they're not uh, afraid of the camera, even if you put the camera right in their house, in their, and, face. And in their face, like this. Okay. So they they not do, do not care. They like, like not care at all. Yeah. Uh, the first time the bird saw this kind of cat, they were what what is that? <laughs> but, but then they, so how do you mount uh, that? I guess you have a ball ball. Um, yeah. So uh, the, the, yeah, like, mount, the, this yeah. is the Atomos recorder mm -hmm. and monitor, and uh, the, you you put it uh, connect uh, with the HDMI cable. And you, then you can control all the recordings from from, oh, okay. from a distance. And then uh, the the last uh, is the this one. Uh, you need to you need to to put it like in kind of stable position. Uh, otherwise, it's a little bit heavy. It's aluminum plate, uh, like four millimeters or something. It needs to be stable. You made this yourself? Uh, yeah, I made it. Uh, uh, but it's, it's still a kind of weight, yeah. uh, and uh, for for this I have a mounting also for use in underwater photography. Mm -hmm. It's a um, uh, bow, like a yeah, bow head. Uh, yeah, bow head. Uh, well, I have this connection on the tree as well. So, uh, what's your impressions? Uh, I guess it uh, shoots sharp. It's yeah, it's a uh, impressive, uh, impressive uh, footage. And, uh, and if you compare it, uh, if you if you have uh, well, wide angle is a big selling point, I guess, um, or a unique point because you cannot uh, get that from other and no macro. Uh, yeah, and if you come to that close and the close environment as a birdhouse inside birdhouse, you, you need to have a wide angle to to see the the whole picture something. Well, yeah. going on. So it's quite a useful um, concept uh, from Laova in this kind of uh, photograph. Uh. So um, obviously uh, it's not easy to uh, align it. It's like a rifle and uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite you move one millimeter yes. here and yeah, you have it's, a, it's quite a you experience that. Yeah, I experience that. So, <laughs> and the watch is maybe uh, even more difficult since it's uh, watch is moving and you need to balance and so on. So you uh, good to, to have a kind of uh, tripod. Or yeah, monopod, you have like a, uh, some, a kind of one kind of some kind of support. But in this case, I use uh, the, this uh, ball hand to to stabilize it. And I like uh, put it in the angle uh, which I need, and then just to 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 go to camouflage place and uh, hiding, and uh, well wait for a bird to come and uh, to see what happens. So it's quite a, a exciting process, and uh, that may be the most exciting part. You learn a lot about the bird you're filming, their habits, what they do, how they behave, what they eat and so on. So yeah. it's quite interesting. So you would say, I mean, there are obviously areas where you cannot, where it has to be something like this, inside somebody's mouth, yeah. uh, <laughs> inside a bird's yeah. uh, den, uh, yeah. any where you actually have physically have to, you won't fit a camera, you won't fit a lens. Yeah. Uh, and uh, when is it not good? Uh, I'm talking about that, it's um, well. I'm thinking if I will take bring with me this lens to our next uh, diving trip, or I will use uh, like normal uh, macro lens. And uh, maybe uh, last time I was use, uh, using this one, uh, and this time I will probably use the normal one, uh, since the um, well image quality uh, anyway is better with the normal. Uh, Okay, as, as for as for my impression as well, it's like bouquet, it's softer, and yeah. smoother, and uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> question. So um, stills versus video, because this is extremely it's like a sword in the air. So yeah. Well, I mostly shoot video. So and and for video, it's uh, for video, it's a li little bit uh, different kind of. Uh, and uh, art or uh, well, the activities, and in video you need to, to tell a story, what yeah. happens. In the photography you need, uh, you strive after perfection, it will be not like, lighting is perfect, uh, the people yeah. action, so it should be perfect. Uh, and uh, it's a little bit different, uh, but for video it's uh, quite good. So 
I, 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 try, I, try, I always try to have some kind of support. Uh, no, normally, under watch, I have uh, put it on my hand like this, uh, like the billiard snooker proposition like this, uh, yeah. and uh, well, try to hold, hold it steady. Yeah. Uh, that's what I do. And uh, just to to for repetitions, it's uh, well, we have a camera, we have a lens, a macro probe. Uh, we have uh, gears for focusing, it's from Nauticam, uh, from underwater uh, use. We have a focuser, uh, it's come from astronomy, uh, Zeta WO. Uh, we have a microphone to put inside the birdhouse. Mm -hmm. And we have the, the HDMI cable for the monitor. For the monitor. We have a cable for focusing. Mm -hmm. And we have a small power bank to, for lighting and for, for the focuser. And uh, well, all of that is mounted on an uh, aluminum plate. Uh, and uh, this is a ball head to, for underwater use as well, to, to stabilize all the, the whole stuff. Cool. Yeah. So um, we're looking forward to trying this underwater again. Yeah. It cannot be worse than the first time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And they are going to uh, photograph bears in a week, week from now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I look uh, forward to, to talk to you again don't, after, yeah, after I your hope I don't get this and, close, uh, we'll show, show you pictures and yeah. we'll, uh, we'll, uh, Absolutely. we'll repeat this again. Absolutely. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank, Thank you. Much. <laughs> uh, good luck. And uh, guys, uh, if you have uh, made some solution to this, your own, uh, this solution is not the only one possible, so I'm sure you have uh, done something like this. Uh, so please uh, let me know, it's really interesting to discuss it. See you. See you on the spell, I see. Oh, exactly. <laughs>